Welcome to Electron Line. Now here we have a little twist on the previous problem. Instead of finding the midpoint, we're now supposed to find one of the endpoints given the other endpoint and the midpoint. How do we do that? Well, let's start with that midpoint equation again, or that midpoint formula. That probably will give us a good idea of how to go about doing that. So we know that to find the midpoint, that is equal to the x and the y coordinate, which are obtained by taking x sub a plus x sub b and dividing it by 2, and taking the y coordinate of a and adding that to the y coordinate of b and dividing that by 2. So that's how we find the x and the y coordinates of the midpoint, which, by the way, are given. That means that this is equal to 9 and 7. And since we know what x sub a is, and we know what the y sub a is, we can then say that this is equal to x sub a, which is 3, plus x sub b divided by 2. And we know what y sub a is, because that is equal to 9 plus y sub b divided by 2. So now we can come up with the two equations to find the other endpoint. We know that this must equal 9. And this here must equal 7, which leaves us only with one unknown in each of the two equations. So starting with the first one, we can say that 3 plus x sub b divided by 2 is equal to 9. Multiplying both sides by 2, we get 3 plus x sub b is equal to 18. Subtracting 3 from both sides, we get x sub b is equal to 15. Now we can do the same thing with the y-coordinate. So we can say that 9 plus y sub b divided by 2 must equal 7. Multiplying both sides by 2, we get 9 plus y sub b is equal to 14. Subtracting 9 from both sides, y sub b therefore is equal to 5. We now have the x and y coordinate of the other endpoint, so we can plug that in. And so we can say that this has a coordinate x equal to 15 and coordinate y equal to 5. And that's how you find the other endpoint if you're given the first endpoint and the midpoint. That's how it's done.